Patience will really help you in terms of how you will be able to take good care of any relationship that you have today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any updates coming from this channel. Again, my name is Altred. This is Feed the Mind TV. So what are the things that we need to remember in terms of how we will have more patience in a relationship? Number one, get to know your partner as a person. It is important that you know your partner as a person, yung mga ugali niya, the character, the attitude and all, that is necessary for you to have patience. Learn about the good things and the bad things about his or her personality. And that way, you will be able to understand your partner well. And that will help you in terms of kung papal natin maintindihan yung strength and flaws ng isang tao. And you will be able to know how to deal with it. Next, we have to accept the flaws and weakness of our partner. Nobody's perfect, not even your partner. No exemption. We have to accept the reality that we have limitation as a person. Lahat ng tao may limitation. We cannot do the things na kaya ng ibang tao. So we have always this weakness and strength. All we have to do is we have to accept those weakness na meron tayo. And we will be able to use all those weakness to improve yung mga flaws natin sa personality to make it as our strength. So that's number two, acceptance of our flaws and weakness. And once you know how to accept all those things, then may improve sa sarili mo yung patience sa isang relasyon. Next, you have to let your partner na makilala ka din. Not just you towards your partner. Kailangan dalawa kayo. Because patience is like love. It's a two-way process. So kung nakilala ka na ng partner mo, then it's time for her or for him to know you as well. That way, both of you can deal with each other's personality. Hindi lang yung ikaw lang yung nakakakilala sa partner mo. Then ikaw, stranger ka sa kanya. Not like that. The reason bakit di natin kakilala masyado yung ating partner is because sinagot natin agad. Niligawan natin agad without knowing her or him better. So that's the reason why we had a hard time in terms of how we deal with each other's attitude and all. Doon pa lang natin may kilala siya eh, nung time na naging kayo na. Kaya nga it's very important na kailangan patagalin mo naman yung paniligaw sa'yo ng boys. Paniligaw sa'yo ng guys. Huwag naman madaliin. Because guys, hindi kami nagmamadali. It's up to you kung gusto mo na talaga. But again, we know how to wait. It depends on you girls kung bibigyan nyo kami ng clue na gusto nyo na rin kaming sagutin. But then again, knowing your partner or knowing the other person in a relationship is really important sa isang relationship. Next thing is communication. Madami yung nag-struggle in terms of how they communicate with each other. Minsan, pag nagkatampuan, it takes days or weeks bago magayos. No, it's not like that. You have to discuss the problem right away. Ganon din naman eh, ba't mo pa patatagalin yung isang bagay if maayos din naman? E di ayusin nyo na right away. No need for you to wait for a couple of days. Nakaka-stress yun. Okay? Discuss those matters. Discuss those important matters in your relationship. Huwag yung ma-pride tayo. Next, Listen, you have to listen to your partner kung nagbibigay siya ng explanation. If he or she is trying to tell you or to explain something sa side niya, you have to listen. Hindi yung bago mo pa napakinggan yung explanation ng partner mo, you already have your own judgment sa nangyari. Na nag-decide ka na na mali siya or tama siya prior pa dun sa explanation niya. It's not like that. We have to listen. We have to be open-minded in listening. And we have to be fair with the explanation, with the discussion. Kasi by listening, we will be able to understand his or her side sa isang bagay. So listening is important to have patience in a relationship. Another thing is you have to allow your partner to be himself or herself. Hindi ibig sabihin naging kayo na is susundin ka na niya. 
at iiwan niya na yung mga bagay na gusto niya. So whatever the interest of your partner, let him do it. Let her do her thing. Ganun lang. Huwag kang maging dictator sa isang relationship. You have to be democratic in terms of a relationship. Kailangan, hindi tayo nasasakal sa isang relationship. Another thing is, you have to learn how to compromise. You can lay down all your terms in a certain discussion so that the two of you can compromise to come up with a decision. You have to meet halfway in a conversation and a discussion. Hindi pwedeng pabor lang dun sa isa at yung isa is hindi. No, it should be the two of you. So if you listen to your partner, And you also will give your feedback, give your explanation about something. Then, dalawa kayong magpo-provide ng resolution dun sa problem nyo. And that way, the two of you can compromise on a decision. And last, find an activities wherein you and your partner can do as a team. By doing that, you will develop trust, patience, and cooperation with each other. Trust your partner that the two of you will be able to have a very good relationship. And the two of you can do it because you learn how to be patient. If you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any updates coming from this channel. Again, my name is Altred. This is Feed the Mind TV.